I've made tons of videos about spray painting, airbrushing, and all other sorts of ways to customize things with paint. But what if I told you there was a way to paint something without even using any paint? What? I know, right? It sounds like some kind of sorcery, but that's because it's so easy, it feels illegal to know. Hey, I didn't say it was illegal. Now what sparked the idea to make this video is that my custom painting buddy, T.S. Flame, gave me this. I know you're thinking, big deal. But if you look closely, it is actually an already glittered, beautifully sparkly sublimation tumbler. What? I never knew anything like this existed. You still might be thinking, so? But before, in order to get this, you had to take this, sand it down, prime it, spray paint a base, then spray metal flake on it or glitter it, and then clear coat it. When I told my buddy T.S. Flame what he had his hands on and what sublimation means, it literally blew his mind. Actual footage. This requires no sanding, no painting, and you don't even seal it when you're done. It's, it's, that's it. Okay, so how are you supposed to paint it if you don't use paint? Oh! Genius. First of all, you need to check your tone, okay? But I'm so glad you asked because all you need is a picture you print out from your computer. And I got my image from Creative Fabrica. Fabrica. Fabrica, Fabrica, tomato, tomato, who cares? They literally have millions of images to choose from. And there's a link in the description where I conned them into giving you a whole month of unlimited access for $1. Or you can click this cute little QR code right here. Oh. Now I took my image and dropped it into Photoshop. That way I can make it the size of my project. I could individually select items if I wanted to, move them around, stretch them out, duplicate them. And this is where you can be as artistic as you want or not at all. I don't know your life. Don't you ever tell me how to live my life again? There, now all we have to do is print it out on my Epson ET2760. And if you want to know more about that, now I have a playlist at the end of this video to show you everything you need to know about printers and settings for sublimation. And I'll put a link in the description below. All right, we've got our image we're going to use printed out in reverse. All we have to do is cut that out. Got our heat tape, our sublimation tumbler. There it is. Okay. And then, uh, oh, we need my oven. Where's it? Where did I put the oven? oven coming oh, up? Hey. Oh, thanks, Minion. Hey. Uh, gotta, I'll let it slide this time. Just give me that tumble when you're done. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. Now, I know you're probably thinking, that's a lot of tape, dude. That's a lot of tape, dude. I literally just said that. But literally, I'm not trying to ration tape to save a few bucks because literally, tape is cheap. And besides, the finish on this with it being pre-glittered or whatever, it was kind of rough and I want to make sure that this thing stays tight to it and there's no gaps for ghosting underneath it. Okay, and one more thing that you can do, it's not absolutely necessary, I just think it's fun, is putting it in this neat little baggie. It's a heat shrink bag. It's so satisfying to, you'll see. See, told you that was satisfying. Now, we just have to preheat our oven. All right, our oven is heated to a nice, cozy 425 degrees. That's what my wife keeps the thermostat on in the house. Uh, literally, there's so many controls here. This is nothing, it's off. This is the timer. You can just turn it all the way up because we're not gonna use that anyway. And these two are the heating elements, top and bottom, and you just set them both on 425. I did six minutes, that's what I've always done, I think. It seems to work well. Open the doors, slide this bad boy in. Don't shut on me and burn, oh gosh. Burn me, loser. And what's great about this oven, it's so big it can stand up. I'll have a link to this oven because I just know it works. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to mess with that, okay? Now we wait. Six minutes. No oh boy, it's done. Ah! Gosh. Just kidding, I pranked you. It's actually been cooling for hours. <laughs> Let's go unwrap this bad boy and see what we got. It's like Christmas. Oh, look, you can already see some of the design through it. Now watch this. This is the absolute most satisfying part.
Why is unwrapping things so satisfying? Like a glove. The glove was a zipper. All right, the last piece of tape. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. All right, the last piece. <gasps> Holy cow, look at that. It's like I painted it, but I didn't use any paint. Oh, I'm fascinated every time I do sublimation because it's just like magic how easily and quickly it works. If you wanna learn everything you need to know so you can try sublimation, I made a yeah. play with this, right? Excuse me. I'll be taking this. Where are you going? On a cruise, <laughs> duh. I'm in a cruise era. Check out this playlist. I'm gonna put it on his face so you can do sublimation, okay? If not, just click this one right here because YouTube says, hey, this one's a, your, it'll be your favorite video ever, okay? See you next time. God bless. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.